Well guys, it's time for the end of year server update tour. Allow me to take you around location, 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 as I show you everything that the builders have been building over the last, I would actually say six months now. So sit back, relax and enjoy. We're gonna kick things off over in Linford. So I'm here in Goblin's town of Linford upon Avon. Now things are gonna get a bit framey and it's no real issue because we're gonna take it nice and slow. I'm gonna walk us through at about two frames a second and admire everything Goblin has been building over the last few months. So Linford upon Avon is a Georgian styled town built here upon a large river. Now Goblin has completely redesigned this. So anything you've seen in the past has been very much reworked. So this section here is a little island that sits in between sections of the river. And this was based upon that, I believe in Oxford. So if you've ever gone across the River Thames in Oxford, you would have seen an island very similar to this. Now recently we have been here for our, uh, for our pub crawls and this building here was the Ferryman's Arms. Take it just quick, what do you think? Mm. Now I'm getting a vibe yeah. what that would it all is that not be? well. No. <laughs> and it's got, beautiful little section down here that I don't think we actually showed off in the pub crawl and it all connects through but it's a very nice little seating area up here there was some more seats and there was also a burning meteorite inside you're gonna to have to watch the pub crawl videos to make any sense of that uh, we won't go inside there today no what we're gonna do is I'm going to take you around town after town after town and try my best to give you a very in-depth view of it all so Goblin is a man that is true, but he is also a man that enjoys building churches. And this is the Church of St. Benedict's. Uh, it's a weekly service is 9 a.m. on every Sunday, but I'm gonna show you its glory. The idea here is this is, I believe, based on one by Sir Christopher Wren again. Goblin, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I love this, I believe it's called a crown spire where you've got uh, almost a floating section and the spire above with a small little roof in there. The details around all of this have been debugged and worked very well. We've got trapdoors of the birch variety around the bottom here. And in our texture pack, these are no longer hollow or they haven't got that little section in there. The link to it is down below and you'll find it in our Discord channel. So please head on over there. Um, and it really does add a subtle difference to the world. Nothing crazy. As you can see, everything looks very much the same. It also is very dirty. Um, not a bad thing though. Um, but they do add small little details such as this. So that there's bits and bobs all around Linford that isn't quite finished yet. Um, what we'll do is we'll wander up there in a second. I do just want to show you the waterfront down here though. So we have this beautiful gothic section at the front and oh, these details on the windows are so very, very nice. Um, so what Doc Goblin has done here is he's taken some sandstone walls, debugged it so you sort of lose the corner here, but it allows you to also have one over this side and a centerpiece and you've got a window that's almost two blocks wide and it gives a very nice effect the scale is a good size like these windows would be very big in a real life building as well also take note on this bottom section here when you're looking at trying to build like a sea wall or a river facing wall or an embankment or something it's always good to go for a bit of a dirty pattern on it and the mixture in here of the 1.9 blocks the uh, lovely use of uh, mud bricks and packed mud mixed in there with some dirt and some jungle um, strip jungle wood it's just perfect. The way it blends into there as well is just chef's kiss, exquisite. Now I haven't done one of these server update tours for a while, so I will be rambling and I will be walking around. Um, so please sit back, relax and enjoy because I've missed doing these. What has just caught my eye over here is construction work. So you can see this matey up here and his friend down there are currently reworking the windows in this place. So we have an entire glass pane waiting to be installed in one of these big gothic windows what a great detail goblin ah honestly there has been so much just life around here that i loved running around it in the uh, in the pub crawls so also over here we've got a little dock area where some stuff are being unloaded and loaded up i think that's even like a boat works there and this is all connected into this beautiful viaduct or bridge even the mangrove wood let me just go around the other side because i think we can see it better with the shade is on the mangrove wood now I am in awe of this. It looks just like ironwork. We can fly through it and see every member and structure piece. Um, I, I just love it. I love, the, the, once my Mojang added this in 
This was just the answer to all of our prayers when it comes to Victorian steel work. We have a similar fashion to this in Whiteburg City that I will show you guys in a bit actually because we haven't been there for ages. And there's some beautiful vistas. Just embrace, embrace it all. Linford is alive. It's alive with passion. And that's what I love about it. There's even like a little steam omnibus here. Great details, take a note of that. Now, if you guys ever build anything that we've featured in these videos, please be sure to credit the original builders. At the beginning of each town, I always show exactly who's built what and what their name is and who they are. So if you build it on a public server or if you post it somewhere, just say original design by Goblin or Wub or someone. It's just, it helps soothe any tensions and any issues and it keeps everyone a bit friendly. It's like when you cite, you know, a reference in a in an academic report so moving through here into some beautiful townhouses these may be simple but they're effective the use of dirt here as a sort of nice brownie uh, a brownie brick color is exquisite and the way it blends in there with the white and all the quartz uh, what's quite nice is the way the doorway has been worked and we've also got a bit of depth in there so instead of just building a window out of glass panes uh, debugging it he's actually put a cobweb behind so it gives it a nice fan light effect on there i think that works very well so we're sort of moving on up to one of the main sections of town that i want to show you and that is the guild hall area but even as we go along there are just small little buildings and, and, and areas and vistas and angles that just work so very well so this building in front of us here is the CDP HQ of Linford upon Avon. Now, if you are an avid viewer of the channel, you would have seen that in uh, the Halloween chapter one, um, the wild goose chase. And that's where we kicked things off inside here. There is an interior in here. Let me just show you inside for a second. So you can see we've got a very pleasant interior lots of detail going on and the use of brown concrete powder here is a great touch i really like these big libraries um these these big bookcases as well with the sliding moving ladder in here it's a bit dark but it's gloomy for a reason this is where a lot of nefarious activity goes on and i was accosted here on the on the sofa by a strange man i mean it doesn't sound too nice but no he told me many things and it sent me on a wild goose chase anyway let's go back outside and have a look at this guild hall i mentioned ah there she be what a beautiful building now we haven't got up to it yet um because we're currently down here at the lower level of town what's quite nice about this place as well is there is a sense of vertical difference so this viaduct here goes along the top of the town and what goblin's done is instead of putting in buildings yet he has designed blocks almost parameters to go we are going to be building buildings of this shape and size at these angles in here and this i think is probably one of the best examples of planning that i've, I've ever seen um, because this this completely capsulates exactly what he wants to do even down to the idea of putting a chimney in here but not actually coloring it or or changing it yet um, and this really does help fill out an idea and a place because even if you've got an idea in your head of what you want to do but you haven't fully realized what buildings you want there this this just putting blocks and parameters in helps break that deadlock in your mind i'll be using this technique a lot goblin so we've got a small little building over here this is a small little turkish bath so now i believe uh, in real life it would have gone down into like a subterranean bathhouse and this was just like the kiosk at the top the colors are lovely you've got that nice mediterranean sort of um middle eastern view to it um warped wooden here as well is that warped 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 wart block that's quite a mouthful to say that also there's some really interesting details in this corner building uh, linford has grown so much over the last six seven months and this building here is by far one of the best examples of goblin skills it's the guild hall as i mentioned but we've got a beautiful statue up here now i believe this is meant to be neptune riding on like a flurry of seahorses um, again goblin correct me if i'm wrong there but that's that's the impression i'm getting from that he's got a trident held up though no, it is neptune look that is definitely a trident up there um but the building itself is very nice and long it's it's reminiscent of the style the uh the neo brock style we use in whiteberg city a lot uh, lots of details and i like this here this you know this effect of uh crenellations throughout the building 
Beautiful statue here of moi. Uh, I mean, we, we see these all over the place, but it's great to have a guardian above the doorway with another sort of one up there as well. And the flag of Whiteberg, of course. So this leads on down here through into one of the newest parts of Linford, and that is the park. Now, I believe Goblin used St. James's Park in London as an example for building this, and I'm not entirely sure he's shown it off yet. So this may be its first viewing, but this section is just godly. And again, a beautiful statue at the top there, um, but we've got the screen, this, this, this wall at the front, and it's just detail after detail after detail, the colors, the textures, the ambiance, it's so nice, so very pleasant indeed. When you come through, you get a chance of having some vistas across there, down into the duck pond at the bottom. Um, but if we wander on down, also, you may notice the water isn't moving. Now, my PC is almost falling over, hence why the frame rate's dying. It's not very healthy, and my graphics card doesn't work very well anymore. So you'll see a few issues with it. <laughs> One of those is waving blocks no longer works properly in my texture in my shaders so uh, nothing I can do about that. I've spent many many hours <laughs> trying to fix it so apologies if things look a little bit off there. I am working my hardest to try and save up to uh, get a new PC at some point uh, and now that uh, graphics card prices are coming down it's becoming a lot more obtainable. Just Look at that view. Now there's one more vista I wish to show you in Linford, and that is round the side here. So eventually this is gonna be leading on down into another part of the city. Um, all of this is gonna get filled in. Uh, it's gonna connect into Whiteberg City. You'll see more of that in the future. Did I mention these are coming back as monthly videos? Mm, probably not. So let me just change the sunlight round. Ta-da, look at that. The Guild Hall itself, the building at the front, this godly, godly um, fountain that leads up to Atlas holding a globe over here. I believe it's Atlas. Atlas is usually underneath globes. And we've even got a small people, some pigeons around here, lovely bench design. But I love this section here. And not just that, the clock up here and also the spire. Now what I haven't shown you yet is the manic roofs at the back here. Goblin, well, I haven't even noticed this myself. What on earth is going on here? So you can obviously have the option of building just a nice big massive roof over something. Or because of the way buildings are designed and, and what they're used for inside, you end up with roofs that are just absolutely chaotic. Now, obviously this leads into like an open chamber down there. Same with that, you've got some skylights going in. Here we've got a whole courtyard down there again with some pigeons. Um, but I like this mansard roof here. It's just, manic is the only way I can describe it. And, and it fills me with such joy seeing this level of detail even behind and on the back of the building itself. And even like this random section here, which allows another road to be angled off down that way. Well, do you know what guys, that has been Linford in total. And I've got to say Goblin, it's so impressive to see a city of this design and scale being built in Minecraft. Congratulations, you made it number one on the list. There is gonna be a top 10 again this year guys, so be sure to check out that when it comes through. Anyway, let's move on. So currently I'm in Castle Bran. This place, based on the real life Bran Castle, is the, I, I believe, the inspiration for Count Dracula's castle. Or actually, it may even be where Vlad the Impaler lived. This has been built by Gunk and Sveed, uh, and it was done for a competition a few months back uh, in our Discord. And they've not just built only the castle, but the entire rolling hill landscape as well for this thing to sit in. It's beautiful, isn't it? Let's take a little fly around of the castle before we wander up onto it. I just want to breathe in so many of the vistas. What? This is like a sheer face here. This is very well done. You've even got the details in up here as well. Ah, oh, look at this place. So even though it is just, I think, out in the middle of nowhere at the moment, one day it'll be connected into the wider bohemian landscapes as um, that's what Swede and, and uh, definitely Gook has been building as well. Um, we're going to wander up around the path in a second and go explore inside but this wall here let me just change the shaders around this wall here is incredible it's one of those debug nightmares that you just don't want to touch but you get that um checkerboard the chessboard sort of details in there 
the different colors using the different depths as uh, almost a way to create shadows. Um, you've got all of the texture in the base there, and then it's offset by these beautiful orange roofs. So it's just absolutely gorgeous. But there's a small little village down here that overlooks the uh, the castle itself. We've got a, a church up here, which um, has a pumpkin out the front. Mm, interesting. I wonder if they're smuggling pineapples there. Um, but I'm going to walk on up this little path here, because I think it's been designed to allow for easy access up. And we're going to see the vistas as we move on up. Um, have you guys ever built this castle before? Or have you ever built any castles at all? I love a castle. Um, feel free to share over at Twitter, uh, at BuildsWBC, any of your castle builds that you've done. I would love to look through a few of them. Um, get some inspiration, get some ideas, because these medieval beauties are beautiful. <laughs> I don't think there's another word for it. But as we come on up this pathway, we are greeted with these sheer faces. Uh, this bends and goes around into the side. Just look at that. I've, I've never been to um, Bohemia or, or anything sort of in that area of the world, so seeing this in game is, is gorgeous. Uh, we've got a big door. Oh, there's not even. We, we had a big door. I'm going to jump down on the side of the building here. Oof. And we've got some more stuff around here. So it's like a little courtyard that comes up and round. Okay, so you can't go inside. I do think we can if we fly over. Yes, there we go. We can go on it, and there's a small little sort of courtyard in the centre. Again, very highly detailed, nicely, craftily, skillfully built, all in that order. There's a little balcony up here. This, I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I think you won the competition for the castles. Um, rightfully so, if, if you did, um, because it's just encapsulating everything lovely weather vane design up here take note on that guys that's a very good one candle on top there really adds that extra little spike that's needed and then there's a bell tower up here or maybe even a defensive structure but the whole building itself is gorgeous i there is no interior i have checked but when it's offset with that that, that mountain behind it it just adds a lot of depth look at that perfect well right well that's bran castle castle bran let's move on to our next location. It's definitely been a while since I've shown you guys Whiteburg City in a server update tour. But obviously, if you have watched any of my Whiteburg City building videos, then you would have already seen much of this stuff. So feel free to skip to another part. If not, welcome to the Adelphi Terrace, the Embankment, and also the Royal Pier. Now, I spent many a month building this area up from literally nothing. Um, it was just a blank area that I always went, I'm gonna build a beautiful terrace of houses along here. And that I did. Now, this was built in London originally as the Adelphi Terrace as well. Um, I believe sections of it are still there. Uh, this this section over here is the only bit that survives. And it's where I started off the design. Now, it's a lovely Palladian styled building built as, you know, to show one palace fronted row of townhouses but there are individual buildings along here um i've gone for quite an interesting way of doing the columns here they actually are two blocks wide but the way they've been debugged brings it back down to looking like one uh and it's a nice little detail to add extra depth where you've got you know you don't want to space out too much uh, in the sky up there you can see a plane now that was going to be a pub on our on our pub crew um it'll make it into next year's one that's for sure so other areas that have been built through here are include the bridge over there now i've oh the elizabeth bridge that's it the queen elizabeth bridge um designed by goblin and myself based on the one in hammersmith and it's just again the mangrove wood really does work in its favors to make it look like a beautiful iron structure that's been painted in order not to rust i mean you can even call it the golden gate bridge if you wish but please don't because it's not american normally in san francisco so i'm standing here on the royal docks and it just it's a place well the royal pier and it's a place that you can get some vistas of the city that you just wouldn't get otherwise unless you were on the other side of the river um so again we've got the delphi terrace there behind one of these steamers now these steamers were built best part of a year ago now yeah over a year ago for the Wolhampton project uh, and these two here are operated by the same companies uh, and they go off to San Alexandro a place we'll venture off to in a bit but while you're waiting for your ferry you have this lovely pavilion in the center here which is just a nice come in sit down 
again, enjoy some vistas away from the elements if it is a little bit cloudy or raining out there. There's some refreshments and little stalls that are uh, only ring Sasquatch is added to the area. There's a lot of life and hustle and bustle along here, and I just think it looks incredible. So the embankment was another section that I completed across this year as well. Uh, so we have the walking section down here, and then we have the section where you can walk again along the side of the road, but this is mainly for the cars, and it's hustle and bustle along here is excellent. Uh, these lampshades, I remember... Um, Limbo designed them and I added them to the city from his town of Bresnice from a long time ago. Now this was the little nod to obviously the Queen Elizabeth II, uh, her late majesty, who passed away this year. Uh, and it, during I was building this embankment, I decided to add a little monument to her here and name the embankment the Elizabeth Embankment after her, along with the bridge as well. Now that's like a distant memory almost. It's been, God, how many months now? Three months now. And we're now under... King Charles III. It's a very strange time, not gonna lie. But we're arriving at some of my favorite vistas completely. It's just this bridge works so well. And once the rest of this area is developed, designed, and built up into the park that I'm planning it to be with a beautiful archway here, then this is gonna be my favorite part, I think, of the server, if I am being very biased. Um, so let's talk future plans quickly while we're here. Uh, as of last night, I was extending the embankment all the way along the edge of the River Avon. Uh, what needs to happen now is the road to come down here. This section over here is where the Royal Palace is going to be, the Palace of Bathampton, uh, sitting at the end of the Long Mall, which we already know quite well if you've watched the series and the server uh, for a while, as that extends all the way down there towards the Parliament and uh, the main archway through there. All of this will be parklands, um, and it will just look exquisite and nice. And, and I think you need a city with a big park in, definitely, to, to give it that status of it being, you know, a, uh, a main capital city. But across the bridge, we've got cars and vehicles and all sorts, and there's even like a little passenger walkway along the side as well uh, as a way of getting pedestrians across, because it's only uh, like a two-car-wide two road. Yeah, it's, it's not the main bridge in. The main bridge in is actually all the way down the river slightly more so you can see i've landscaped along the edges here but um it kind of stops it here because this section hadn't been built until last night so um but i have planned there was a bit what's the, that's a bit funky i'll have to fix that but if we go on down here you're going to see the planned route into the main city so this is a much wider road um, and I've planned this out to actually connect in over there with Linford upon Avon, Goblinstown. But that's mainly it from Whiteburg City. It's just I just wanted to keep it real, update you guys a little bit quickly on what's been happening there. Anyway, let's move on to another location. Welcome to another town we haven't been to for a long time. This is Cambrose, a town on the Isle of Wight. Sea. Actually, you can even see across to St. Arnold's Mount. I didn't realise that. Anyway, this is built by Sir Lancelot, and it's another place we, like I said, haven't been to for a fair while. Uh, based upon Cornish towns and little villages around there, Cambrose is really taking shape. Oh, this is a gorgeous building. Using the dead coral as flint works, and then topping it off with granite, really adds a lot of texture, uh, including these deep slate roofs, I think works so very well. So there's lots going on here, lots of little new buildings and shops and stuff. I just wanna give you a little wander around to uh, embrace the entire feel of the place. We've got some uh, signs here. Now I think the high street is probably worth trying to go to. Um, so we're gonna wander down this way. Oh, it's not not much down this way. Um, what was it, ah, here we go. So I think we've come along this section before um, and, and the main area that he has built is actually over there, so I picked the wrong section. Um, but we've got buildings such as this here, um, which I believe was a school. <laughs> I'm thinking back to nearly a year ago because um, we ventured into here for uh, for the, one of the pub crawls in 2021, uh, and it was a No Way Out pub. So down the back here, there's like a secret room, <laughs> and we were all trapped in here for a while. Um, a great pineapple wishes you health, and I don't think we can get back out. Oh, we can. There we go. Uh, so again, if you want to watch those wacky videos, that was from last year, and yeah, it was it was definitely a, an interesting time. So let's have a little fly across here and see the eclectic nature of an English seaside town's uh, main high street. So we've got some more taverns and inns. We've got a tea bar there, the Globe Pub at the end there, and what's quite nice is just. The way it's all set up oh look we've even got something from the coronation still down through here so in june this year i did a little cinematic to uh well to 
to what was it um the jubilee for queen elizabeth ii you know before she passed away um so that was all set up across the many towns and cities around whiteburg um which i thought looked really nice so over here if we just change the time around slightly we have some of the newest areas of cambrose this is castle street and it's a lovely winding bendy road that has buildings painted in all fashions of colours and it's really reminiscent of a Devon Cornish landscape. Take in the little details here, these are lovely sized buildings and at this angle it works very well but you can also as you can see change the angle as you go along and you get some interesting shapes and uh, having a crescent like that uh, is, is very nice. I mean it's actually it's a reverse crescent but it works very well. Again, we've got the angle buildings down here, and I love the scale of this place. It's not too big, but it's just about right for the walk around. It does feel very Cornish. Um, if anyone has ever been to Cornwall, they will know what I mean. So we've got another church up through here, but also the Vicar's Pub. I don't know if there's anything inside it. It does not, so let's back out of there. But there's a winding little street down here. Ah, oh, I love it. I love walking around little winding streets. I think this might be... TSA, I don't know what that stands for. Let me know in the comments below, uh, Sir Lancelot, what TSA stands for. I think it might be a school. Um, we've got another building here, but I like this. The way it opens up as it gets further down, you've got a little windy gap there that, you know, originally the buildings were built through there, and then they've knocked them down perhaps in the, in the future, and they're built through this way. But let me just change again the sunlight round so we can see these buildings a bit better. Oh, look at this. The mud bricks work so well there. I like it. I think this is another form of church or um, perhaps even a bathhouse. No, it's a church. It's got an aspect at the back. Um, and then we've got even more big old hotel across the front there and winding on down the street even further back towards the other church. You get the change gradient here. So we've got a, a terrace up there below the road, which adds so much depth to the place because most places definitely are not built level to the road unless they've been designed to. When you get something like this where you've got a change in gradient from from you know sea level up on top of a hill and the church has been built on a platform that's probably been prepared for it, it adds a lot of depth and style to the place i'm just seeing this little, little oh it doesn't lead anywhere ah oh, that's mr trick there I, I hope there was gonna be like a pineapple or something lodged in there but you got the, the higher section here with this nice retaining wall really does add a lot to the town and and i like how the graveyard's just there it's just open you can walk along it and view across it all. Now, is this going to be a big old green? Because I think that open like that would be very, very nice indeed. You know, some trees, maybe a war memorial in the centre or something, or a bandstand. Um, that would look very nice, Sir Lancelot, indeed. Uh, but then we've got this church here. Love the mud brick on it. Really does add to that nice Cornish uh, sandstone. Uh, well, more so Devon, round Dawlish way. It's got this lovely red sandstone. Well, Sir Lancelot, I'm impressed. This is a beautiful town. Uh, really captures that Cornish English feel to it. Cannot wait to see how this progresses in 2023. Okay then, guys, let's move on to our next location. Well, sticking with Sir Lancelot for a moment, we're not currently in a location as such, more an area uh, where something is being built, but very much worth showing off. This is the Imperial Park main national football ground for Whiteburg. And Sir Lancelot's been working on this for a little while now, but I believe the World Cup definitely uh, pressured him into building some more of it. Just breathe in the sheer scale, size and beauty of this place. I cannot wait to seat this somewhere perfectly surrounded by townhouses and, and roads and railways and just, it's gorgeous. Like the neoclassical style it could be a palace, it could be a governmental building, but no, it is a gorgeous stadium. Ah, oh, so we've got some statues down here, the lions, Victoria, ah, oh, lovely. These are the names of the lions, I believe. <laughs> I couldn't pronounce the rest of it. But this is the main entrance in, so you, you're already like, there's a running track around the outside. This is used as not just a football ground, but as a stadium for alls. So we have the Olympics here and all sorts of other track events. So ticket booths along the side here, um, go for the turnstile into it, and then you walk on up into your seats. And there are around 10,000 seats in here. I had just made that number off the top of my head, but I believe it to be true. <laughs> uh, there's little walkways around the edge. I mean, there's some bits that haven't been finished yet, but if we take a look at the seats and the stairs and just, well, I can sit down here and I can just watch the game. You're, you're, you're right there. It's so close. But we've also got the boxes and the other sections up here. 
you know, you've got the gallery section, you can walk along the back here, but you can still look down and watch the game. These colonnades are beautiful. So if you're looking for an idea on how to build, you know, a white column, bone blocks with a bit of calcite down the bottom and then an iron trap door lobbed on the bottom as well. And you've got these lovely little details around the top. So much going on here, but the scale, it's the scale that gets me every time I look at this place, I go, cool, blimey. It is beautiful. Now this is the Imperial box, the main place where you'll find the Royal family and also myself as the Prime Minister. So I come here, open up games, open up everything. Uh, one day this will be kitted out with the finest seats and hospitality sections. But we're still in the game, we're still in the stadium. And you've also got another entrance through the bottom there. Now we will hope to do some little videos from here at some point, playing an actual game of football. Lord knows how that will work, but I, I really would like to do that um, just as a little fun game. Like we did that time with the boat race around the Upton Down race course. But let's just zoom out for a second and get an absolute mouthful. Mouthful? No, eyeful of that. It is incredible. Um, and yes, it is located. I don't know, actually, I don't even know where we are. It's by a river somewhere. Thank you for building it, Sir Lancelot. I cannot wait, like I said, to place it in the world and have it used. I actually believe you started working as a year ago, but it doesn't matter, it's great. Okay guys, let's move on to our next location. So I'm here in the great city of San Alexandro, Burgi's town, he's currently redesigning. Now we've been here many, many times across the last few years, but currently the whole place is up for a redesign and I haven't shown off any of this yet, but he's told me to start over here at the train station, the Central Pacific train station, built in a, oh, I guess, a Spanish colonial style. Really like this exterior. I wanna have a quick fly around before we go inside. Uh, we've got a nice train yard at the back here. Good use of dirt on the bottom there. I just, I like it all already. Windy roads. This is how I imagine American transport. Like I, I haven't really seen many train stations in America, but this is this is what I think of when I when I think of them. Um, I like this little loading yard, like goods yard at the front as well. We've got some uh, trucks there. Well, actually, I would say tankers there, and some goods being loaded on here. But we also have a massive section of telegraph lines or power lines, and that just adds so much depth. And also, what, what, what's happened here? <laughs> oh my God, is that, is that more telegraph lines or has this accidentally been turned into buttons? I, I like it. I think it looks nice. I think, I think, you know, it works. Like when you look at it at certain angles, it, it definitely works. Um, but yeah, it's really hard to get any angled section of like power lines going. So any, any idea to do it is definitely like a, a, a good plan. Anyway, so we've got some small little shops, almost Wild West type styles. I like that. And then these ones here as well. We've got some bigger sections here. We've even got a goods train coming through. I'll have a look at that in a second. But this is this is good. This is California. This is this is what I imagine when I think of the West. So we've got, yeah, we've got some goods trains. We've got a, a vehicle shunting here as well. And this is how we get over here to the train station. Oh, I'm just, I'm flabbergasted already. Let's have a little wander inside. So... It's all kitted out in here. Uh, what have we got going on over here then? Western Union, uh, write your telegraph. Oh, so this is a, a telegraph machine. Okay, so you give it to someone and they, they send it off. We've got some waiting areas. I like this. You've got this almost New Mexican style sort of walk-in. Um, big desk here to get your tickets going on. Uh, oh, it's the same over this side as well, but I think we can wander on through into the main train hall itself. Yes. Ooh, I like this. So is this meant to be like kept dark to keep it cool in here? I imagine that's kind of what's going on. And we've got access up through there for the, for the steam to go through. Um, but we've got massive amounts of waiting here. Uh, we've got some porters and people moving stuff down the end here. And what looks to be a good shed at the back as well, which I think we've looked at at the front. Yes, that's just a pass through. And this will eventually go off into uh, the rest of, um, well, the United Colonies. <laughs> We've even got, oh, this, okay, so this is the presidential car by the looks of it, and that's Teddy Roosevelt just sort of giving a speech at the back. That's a nice little detail. <laughs> very good, Bergie, very good indeed. But this is all really nice. I haven't seen, you know, I, I love a train station in Minecraft. It's always been my passion to build a big one, and I will this year, that's, that's for sure. Oh, what's this over here? Oh, so there's even like a little upstairs bit in a restaurant. The Harvey House Mills, 10 cents and drinks are 5 cents. Wow. Oh, this is fancy. Lots of light, lots of details. And what's this through here? I didn't realize you'd done like, you kitted out the whole place. Oh, just another sort of probably entrance hall uh, for later stages. Um, and this is another ticket booth. Yep. What's up here then? Let's have a look. It's probably just like a, 
Another restaurant type area? Yes, it looks like it might be, or just services. Uh, oh, and <laughs> nothing over that side. Cool, well, we've got a little ticket uh, waiting area again. Yeah, this is lovely, Pergy. So I'm gonna go outside and have a look at the rest of the town. So the whole town itself is, well, as you can see, work in progress. Uh, the way Bergie's done it now is he's, he's matched everything out with this dirt just to show it's being constructed, which I think is quite a good idea. Um, but there's buildings still in, and any keen eye viewers will have seen these in the past as well, especially the flat irons. We've got the coal building, um, and we've got all manner of other buildings along here. The place is looking good. It's it's really, I mean, for one person working on this, this is really, really, very good. Uh, the roads are interesting. I like oh, street signs, uh, street lights. And then we have the capital down the end here. So let's go have a look at that state capital building again. Um, is this the post office? I think this might be the post office. We, we came here before. Um, yes, it is the post office. So this is a, a good building, very strong building, um, built in a nice Spanish colonial style. Yeah, it's got a little basement in there and an area for all of the uh, post vehicles to sit at the back. Uh, but yeah, so this dome, I believe, has been reworked as well. So when you come on in, oh, there's like a little, I guess, library? A museum at the side. Well, we'll go with library for now. Um, but this building's lovely. Ah, strong, strong dome, good use of light good use of proportions and we've, we've had a look around the arbitorium but around it before uh, if you want to check out a full video on that there i believe it was in the february editions of last of this year's server update tour but interesting i mean I've, I've not seen a white roof like this before yeah it works diorite does work for roofs definitely and then we've got the lantern up here which is yes very nice good use of birch there so bergy i can't wait to see how the rest of this town turns out oh what is this i wonder if this is work in progress but still hey sleek skillful good design um i cannot wait for the rest of this place to be built what looks to be i imagine a park down here with an old uh, manor house sitting in it yes look at this i know i'm just giving away loads of work in progress stuff but this is what the people want. They want to see how it's being built. So I can see how you've done your designs. You've got um, you know, different colored walls, which is what we do as well anywhere. And it's a good way of sort of being able to paint it once you're ready. That's the first, hang on, I've not seen this yet. So this is down at the ferry port. We've been here in the past as well. We've got a nice little bit here, but this eagle, oh my God. Oh, Bergie. Oh, that is sexy. That might even be the thumbnail. <laughs> That, ah, I'm actually gobsmacked by that. Very nice, very nice indeed. Right, well, on that note, I think it's time to move on to another location. So you're finding me here in Kostnis Old Town, part of Bohemia, built by Swede. And we've got a, a bit of a progress check to do on some areas. So this is a chapel building uh, set in some beautiful grounds, again, upon like a terrace, as we were discussing earlier in Cambros. The whitewashed walls, this is a great detail. Adding that little fleck of black in there from the from the birch is is exquisite. And then you've got the calcite mixed in with a bit of diorite. Really does work very well. Oh, is that gonna be like a little water mill or something? So let's wander on up in here and just breathe in some vistas. Mm. Nice graveyard area and up to the other level. And we've got some lovely hanging trees and a gorgeous chapel. I wonder if there's anything inside. There is not. <laughs> Backing out of there quickly. No, it's, it's a nice building and it's split levels again. Um, we've got this beautiful back section around here. Oh, these are really good details with these walls. Uh, debugged, yes, but they, they work well. And this corner works very well indeed. Uh, moving around to the side here, it's a similar affair. Uh, we've got another door down there. So there's other bits to see in this town as well. Um, let's move across down the river a little bit, past this section into the river park. Uh, and this is all part of the old town of Kostnis. Um, and I didn't realize there's actually like a railway line through here as well. Nice touch. Now, what's quite interesting is everyone on the server seems to do their railway construction out of different materials, um, which I like because it shows that there is a, a, a difference between areas and, um, uh, you know, styles across uh, different countries. So, you know, in Whiteburg, we do it out of stone. Actually, I think half the people do it out of andesite. I'm not entirely sure. That was polished andesite, and I saw Bergy did it out of, um, I think, deep slate. So it's all up to grabs on how it's done, but this is very nice. The Riverside Park. So we've got this lovely um, 
flower section in the center there, probably in the design of the flag for the country. Uh, bandstand, very large bandstand. Mm, culture, that's what that screams. Good use of color in there as well. And then we've got this section over here. So it allows you to like be one with the water and you know actually look back on sections like that. And ooh, what's this over here? It's just a statue. Parks are really worth spending time getting right as a statue um, because they add so many business I know that that's on purpose that is gorgeous that must have been chosen like that nice little statue we've got three I imagine three kings that's what it says um pan slavic society oh right okay so it is yeah so it's lich czech and rus so the three sort of um slavic cultures added together there nice uh what else we got going on through here so we've got the music hall now let's let's walk through the park to it uh can we oh there's a little boat over here Oh, there's definitely some class and culture here. Is this like a little dry dock? No, it's, it's a little, so, yeah, it's almost dry dock area, but not. It's like a, oh man, I didn't know any of this existed. This is gorgeous. And you've got a little harbour wall there coming down. Um, but this is the music hall here by what looks to be a big railway station. I'm very intrigued by that. You've even got platforms going in. Hmm. Yes, let's look at this building. Lovely use of Baroque styling, uh, lovely use of, of uh, <laughs> sandstone head there. You know, it really does add a lot to it. I would say this is gorgeous. I will say it. Um, and you've got a great view of the railway line as well, which is, you know, when you're when you're somewhere like that, that looks good. But these curves, you've done these very well, these turnouts. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm an infrastructure man myself. I get very uh, taken by uh, infrastructure like this. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Okay. Right, we're going to have to come back and, and vibe check this in a few months' time once there's some progress going on. But this is where the money is. Everyone turning up in their very nice cars um, to come listen to an opera. Um, or sit out here on the lounge and, and look around. So, Swede, I didn't know you were doing all of this. This is incredible. There's, there's a lot going on in this old town um, and it's all looking very promising. So I'll be back here in a few months time to check on some progress. Right then, time to move on to somewhere else. Well, guys, I think that's enough for this year. I've shown you the best part of an hour's worth of content here and I need to save some stuff for at least the January server update tour. That's right. They are coming back in full swing. So I hope you've enjoyed this little look around the server in, in just encapsulating what's been done over the last few months as a little sense of here's what we do. Please stick around to see more of it. And that is very true. So please stick around to see more of this. I'll be back at the end of January with another one of these server update tours and in February and in March and in what on earth is that? Oh, please don't let it be. Oh, no. Well, on that note. I'll see you guys in the new year. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.